Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, we have my RVB custom Felix figure. So, yeah. And let's get into it. All right, so let's open this thing up. Now, I always put it back in the box. I, think, I like the box as a thumbnail. But uh, the reason I don't show the box for my customs is because this is just the standard Series 1 box. But I just put them in the box so I like the way it looks on camera for the thumbnail. So... He really just fell out there. So here we have Felix. So starting off with his weapon, he has. I just gave him the assault rifle. I he's supposed to use the DMR rifle, but they have not made like. Well, they have made a DMR, but the only way you can get it is with Frederick, and I do not feel like buying another Frederick just to give Felix a DMR. Now, if I ever do get another DMR, like if I went online, I may buy it and give it to Felix. But for now, he's gonna have to hold that assault rifle. But. And in Halo 5, the DMR was standard weapon, so Halo Infinite's version of Felix, assault rifle, standard weapon. So, yeah. Let's set them back there as I open up this. Give me a second to open this up. So next up, for the accessory, also comes the base. This green base, see so, yeah. So now for the articulation, we have just under a 90 degree bend in the elbow. Uh, shoulder goes all the way up by that far before the armor will get in the way. Head turns side to side. The armor will stop it from going all the way around, but you could if you wanted to. And you rotate the arm all the way around like that. <coughs> Body can turn. Up, down a little bit, got a rocker, and do a good front kick. With this leg, at least, with this leg, the line knife will get more in the way and it will pop off. This leg can do a really good side kick, but this one, like I said, the knife will hinder it to go straight legged about that far. Because um, I've tried to go farther and it, I did pop the knife off, so I had to re glue it on. Wrist backwards, forwards, up, down, no, not up, down, just backwards, forwards. Um, ankles turn all the way around. And I turned his leg around, not his ankles. Turn, ankles turn all the way around, up, down. So, yeah, that's where the articulation. Alright, so now to show you what I did to make this figure, all I really did was I took like a base coat of gray. I bought some gray, some model paint gray. And then I like put it with more black. I mixed black into it to make it more of a gunmetal gray, more darker. And then I took some orange with a microscopic brush and went on certain decals on the figure throughout like the arm and the head, stripe on the head, and places like that. Then I took some white and did the skull and crossbones and the like pelvic area, has a little bit of white there as well. And then I also wanted to keep the knife on. This is normally I would have just left the knife off and like filled the hole in. But I left the knife on because in the show Felix is good with knives. So this will really sell that look that Felix knows how to use knives. Because someone that knew how to use throwing knives or just knew how to fight with a knife would obviously keep a pocket knife on their side. Like, that's just common sense, man. Uh, yeah, that's really it. How I made Felix. This is, he's harder to make than he looks because you got to have like a microscopic brush for the skull and crossbones and the white stuff here. You don't need as microscopic for the orange stuff, but one mistake, you are done with the orange stuff. The orange stuff is really hard. Now, I was able to really easily do the gray, but it took me a lot of trial and error to do the orange. That's why it took so long to get done. Because this guy, I mean, I've been trying to do for like a year and I finally got it done. So, yeah, that's my Felix. So he can also stand in his base. You can take him and just put the peg holes in there because he does have, he does still have the peg holes in there. Just put him in there and then now he's standing up on his base like that. And then if you want, and then just put, go ahead and put the assault rifle in his hand. Now this body is built more for a battle rifle. 
And I say that because the battle rifle design for the hands, he's more meant for the slide in and out, not the wrap around strategy. But you can still get it in there pretty good. He looks pretty good holding it. You can sell that look of a fighter. You could do some cool scenes with him and Locust. Because um, if you have saw my Locust video, it should be a, it is up at the time of filming this. So, you should have already seen my Locust video. And yeah, you can do some cool stuff with him and Locust together. The two mercenaries. Uh, so yeah, looking really good. So, I really like it. All right, so that is it for my RVB Felix. He looks really good. Really like him. And you can do this yourself at home. It's real easy to do. Just may take a second to figure out how to do it. So I do encourage you to try to do one of these. They're really fun to do. And once you make them, you feel really good about yourself. Man, I'm so happy I started this. But I should have done this whenever I started doing this. I gotta give credit to someone on Reddit. I don't know his name in particular, but there was some guy on Reddit that gave me the idea for Red vs. Blue. Now, I am gonna say this. Do not think I got the idea for Felix from that guy. That guy didn't even attempt Felix. He only did the main roster from Season 1 and Washington. Plus Tex. So, most of the credit for all the freelancers comes from me. Just know that. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye.